from with a post market update from Nirmal Banga and Hira Zadia. Clearly, if you go to see, it has been a good day of trade in spite of ice rates nifty indicating a negative start. We've actually played a good deal in today's session. Uh, we did see smart gains, but it's the last hour of the profit booking that actually got us down. However, we ended uh, in the positive as well. So that's something uh, that we need to note. Uh, overall, if you see in terms of where markets were concerned, uh, clearly it's a third consecutive session of gains that have come in. And it's the late afternoon trade where we actually started to see that good uptrend. We ended above uh, the 10,300 mark on Nifty 50. And Sensex ended with gains of almost around 179 points. Uh, clearly, uh, overall, if you go to see from the day's highest level, we've given up almost around 300 points with regards to the Sensex. We ended around that 35,200 mark. And similar was the trend with regards to Nifty as well, because if you see where the Nifty ended as well uh, from the day's highest levels, in terms of uh, on that front, we fell over almost 80 points from the day's highest levels. So clearly there was the profit booking that did come in in the last hour of trade. Uh, however, we have continued to remain at a three month high already. So that's something which is positive. The uptrend does still remain intact. In terms of individual sectors as well, if you go to see, buying remained persistent across all the sectors, except IT, you had all the other sectors which actually ended in the green. And you had the PSU bank index, which actually emerged as the top gainer in today's day of trade. Uh, overall, if you go to see mid-cap and small-cap indexes as well, both of them were up in the range of almost around 1-2% to 2 each. And the breadth was pretty much in favor of the bulls. So gains were led by the banking counters, metal names, as well as the pharma names in today's day of trade. So that was an interesting factor uh, in today's session. But apart from that, if you see in terms of who were the guys who actually contributed to this kind of an uphold, it was mainly financials that led the market rally. 21 out of the 30 Sensex stocks actually ended in the green today. And Kotak Mahindra Bank, Bajaj Finance, Access Bank, ICICI Bank, as well as Bajaj Auto, these were the top index contributors in today's session. Uh, overall, Power Index also saw some smart gains on, on BSE, so that was an interesting sector to watch out for. And good volume buildup did come in with regards to Reliance Industries, Bajaj Finance, Indusind Bank, SBI, as well as ICICI Bank. Very interestingly, uh, RIL, if you see the market cap, that's seeming uh, phenomenal right now with the bank investments that have started to come in. In fact, that's been holding you on a continuous basis or basis, the lockdown. But clearly, it's the private banks, Bajaj Group stocks that actually lifted the Sensex higher uh, today. And Glenmark was an interesting one uh, to watch out for as well. But let's quickly understand the top gainers and losers today. So on Nifty, you had Bajaj Auto, Bajaj Finance, Bajaj Pinsir. Good news for all the Bajaj Group companies today. Vedanta as well as a Gold India that were the top gainers in today's session. Whereas Wipro, Gale India, ONGC, HDFC, as well as TCS were the top losers as well. Let's quickly understand the stocks which actually hit a 52 week high in today's trading session. So they have stocks like Reliance Industries, Sipla, Alembic Pharma, Dixon Technologies, EIT Perry, Infi Beam, Beer Crop Sands, Adani Clean. These were a few of the stocks that actually hit a 52 week high. On the movers and shakers front, ICICI Bank, they've gone ahead and sold around 1.5% stake in the life insurance arm. And they've joined hands with Hyundai Motors as well to offer online finance solutions. So that was one of the reasons why uh, we did see a good move. In Devils, housing has surged almost 60% in the last two trading sessions. And this is because Morgan Stanley has gone ahead and big stake in the company. Uh, NR Agarwal Industries jumped in commencing production at Unit 3. Glenmark has zoomed on getting North to launch Paviparavir for treatment of COVID-19 patients. And in fact, it's the biggest uh, single intraday rise that we've seen in history with regards to Denmark. Now, whether this kind of an up move is warranted or not is something we need to watch out for. Because the contribution of the drug right now, what analysts are estimating is really minuscule. So that's something that we need to watch out for from here on. Urban Fashion has gained, and this is mainly on the back of the fundraising, uh, in order that they've got by a rights issue. Bajaj Mootings, that stock was up for third consecutive session. Spark also saw some interesting moves. See, the biggest, I mean, it's, it's the best single day gain that we've seen in two months. So a lot of movers and shakers that were in place today, a lot of stock specific action that was happening. However, the gains were across the board. There was no sector that was really left out except IT, but it was the financials that actually led the rally in today's session of trade. And 10,300 was something that we were watching out for in terms of Nifty 50 as well. And that's something that we've ended above uh, those levels. So from here on, whether that up move continues or not is something 
that we need to watch out for. But overall, a good day of trade for the Indian markets. That's all that we have in the post-market update from Nirmal Bang. Thanks for watching.